in, uh, you know, in Harlem. And my mom actually read about it in the paper, cut out what she wrote in the paper <laughs> about what they said, where they were going to meet. And um, we went down there and took my head shot. And I got there. I had never seen so many people before outside of a sporting event. So we just went in and you had to take your headshot. They called your name and you just walked across the stage. That was it. And they put your wow. stuff in a pile and that was that. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna walk across this oh. stage. Like, should I do it fancy or? Yeah. My mom was like, just, you know, be yourself. And um, from there, I, I got put in a group of girls and we went to audition. All the kids, we all auditioned together. They had, they had me read for a mini. Like, they were like, do you speak Spanish? And I was like, I don't know, but I could try. And I just, you know, <laughs> I took the sides and stuff like that. It was a series of about probably uh, nine auditions that I went on wow. to get the role of Troy. Every time I came, you know, because uh, my father was my stage parent. So my mom worked and my dad was like the stay-at-home parent. Um, and so he was my stage dad. So he took me to all the auditions. Um, and I did what I read for whatever. I think it was audition number four that I came in the room and Spike was in there. And I was like, oh man, like when you go on an audition and you see someone you recognize, that you see, that you know your parents respect and look up to, I was just like, inside I was shaking and freaking out, but I knew that it was my job to seem very professional. So I just went up to him and said, it's a pleasure to meet you and shook his hand. And then basically pretended like he wasn't there. Is because it? I thought that that would be an important way for me to show whatever you put in front of me, I could do. Yeah. That I wouldn't be like, you know, starstruck. After I left that. Okay, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. Well, the thing was, I didn't know, like, what was a good gauge. So my dad and I got in the elevator. Then we went downstairs. Then we got around the corner. And that's when I was like, Spike, you know, like, <laughs> it was so crazy and all this stuff. But I didn't want anybody on the premises to see me like being that kid freaking out. I was like, let me just wait until, you know, oh. 